This next step is where we're going to install the overflashing, which is above the G channel, which is going to go on secondary to the overflashing. So we made a piece of overflashing, it's about eight inches long. We're actually going to be attaching, in this case, to brick. Whenever you attach to brick, it's a little more uh, uh, time consuming. Make sure that you allow for the time for that. And if it's uh, for a customer, make sure you charge for that. So what I do is I'm actually going to install this into the mortar joint, not the brick. And if I try to go into the brick, even with the uh, ham hammer drill, it's going to be a lot harder to go through. The, the uh, mortar will be softer and easier to attach. So I've already marked it above it, so I know exactly where I'm going to attach it at, because after I've got this up there and seal it, I really can't see exactly where I'm at. So what I'm going to do is I'm lining it up where it's going to go. I'm just keeping it up there. This is about just about that far underneath the ledger board, this being the ledger board here attach it just about right there but I got to seal it and remember I got an uneven sealant here over there so I got to be really careful to do a good job so I'm going to put sealant on the back of this after I have pre-drilled the holes and then um, I also have got that little bit of gap there that allows me to put more sealant up there but what I want to be careful to is I don't want to actually seal this over there so the water is being trapped I want to make sure I can let the water out and fall into the pans out here. I don't want to trap the water to make this a tight up there, so I got to keep it down a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do here. That's my first step. So I'm going to make my lines where I'm going to cut my holes here. And I say cut the holes because even though a hammer drill can go through brick, it actually will dull the masonry bit when I try to go through aluminum. So I've got to pre-drill those holes first before I uh, drill it there. So here's the first step. I'm actually going to take my drill with my inch and a half screws, which are very sharp, inch and a half screws. And I'm just gonna pre-drill my holes here real easy. I actually like to stick it right up there and drill it. It makes it easier for me to do it. Just using the screw to put the hole in it. Once I got that, then I can come back in there and line it up exactly where I want it using a hammer drill. Put a hole in it. Loosely put the screw in it. Because I'm just using that up to line up the rest of my holes here. Again, this is why we're not using a big, long, 10-foot piece of overflash. Three, three good screws, places to put screws in there. And now I'm gonna put sealant on the back here. And once I do that, then I'll be able to seal this in place. And then even then, since there's uneven surfaces back here, I can reach over with my caulk gun and still seal the top without sealing the water behind the ledger joist. Okay, got that sealed, and uh, that seal I'm put back there. I'm gonna put it back up in the position, get the gun ready, and try not to make a mess. We're using our inch and a half screws. They work great with a five sixteenths long six inch hammer drill bit. So now I got this seal up there and I'm pretty happy with it, but still, just to be safe, we're gonna reseal it with sealant back up on top of there. Oh 
I'm going to do what the dirty finger trick makes to make it sure it's nice and tight. I wet my finger. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to put lots of lotion on your hand before you get started. Whenever you work with sealant, you take some lotion. I travel a lot. I get it from the, from the from, oh my gosh, that was a little bit too much. But it helps the caulk come off your hand once you get it on your hand later. And at the end of the night, you can clean it off. Gonna give me a nice seal all the way up against that brick and just like that my fingers almost clean enough just like that we kind of sealed it up over there so sealed nice and tight up behind there you let that set up for a couple minutes and um, we'll keep going across here with this over flashing all the way across and then we'll be ready for our next step which will be the G channel 